I know a lot of people come in here and they're like, oh, is it just for Native students? Like, oh, no, 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 it's like definitely for everybody. And like, this place isn't just to be like, oh, we're, or we're Native, it's just to share our culture, like just to make people more aware and like learn off that. And we still want to make them feel really comfortable and be like, oh, okay, like learning other people's culture isn't like, shouldn't be an awkward thing and like getting involved with it shouldn't be either. People have a lot to learn, I think, from Native culture. So whether it's attending the programming here um, that our students put on, whether it's using our Native resources, um, sitting down and reading a book, or it's sitting in on some of our staff meetings and um, getting an insight in regards to the work that we do, just coming in, partaking in the, um, some of the artwork that's been donated. The work that we can now do with Native youth, particularly like on reservations here in Oregon, um, we have a really unique opportunity as students um, and as Native students working here that we can take our stories and our success stories, particularly as student leaders, um, to go to, go to reservations ourselves um, and to work with the university to help recruit students to Oregon State to talk about the opportunities that we've had here, the opportunities for growth, for identity development, but also the opportunities for you know, a great education um, and for you know, hopefully a great career after that. And I think that's one of the biggest things that this Longhouse can do now that we have this awesome new building is, is help that and make sure that you know, Native youth throughout Oregon um, really know that they have a home here and they have a place and this can be their future.